Hey everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Hope we're doing well. Today we're doing Carefree Highway by Gordon Lightfoot. I'm sure uh, you've all heard that Gordon Lightfoot passed away very recently and uh, it was a very sad day for me and so many others. Truly huge fan of Gordon's. Uh, I would say that his influence for me is very deep and it's before I picked up a guitar as far as the main bulk of his influence on me. Um, I listened to him a lot with my dad and it was just Gord's gold was just in the car all the time uh, for a period of my childhood and teenage years and the impact of Gordon is is tremendous on me um, and so when he passed you no know, surely uh, it was a, a sad moment for the musical world of course he's one of the greatest songwriters of all time Bob Dylan um, has some amazing quotes about Gordon anytime there's a song of Gordon's playing he never wants it to end things like that and you know Gordon was very humble so you know I don't think that um, enough people know about him or realize the true uh, genius of his writing but you know his writing is just out of this world go ahead and put on Gord's gold this week and just uh, marvel at his songs I do have a couple lessons on him already um, sundown early morning rain and the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald all incredible songs and uh, this is also a, another one of those. Now this is a great song just for strumming, just really getting some nice strumming. So we're actually just gonna, we're not gonna zoom in, I'm just gonna teach this song like this. And I will write out the chord melody on the Patreon. That is quite difficult. I had to do quite a, a bit of preparation on, you know, getting that clean. Um, it makes it more difficult with a pick. You know, uh, if you know my channel, you know that the usually a lot of chord melody is done finger style. So to do chord melody with the pick involves a lot of muting and just being real, that kind of controlling, uh, you know, the strings in your favor to not make it sound like too messy or anything. So that would be advanced, you know, the chord melody, and it's all written out in the Patreon, or it will be very soon. As far as the strumming, though, you can you can totally capture the song as a beginner. The only thing that might give you some trouble would be maybe the bar chord of B minor. Okay, so go ahead and get your capo on the second fret. By the way, this appeared on Sundown. And uh, there's an actual highway in, in Arizona called Carefree Highway. Uh, so Gordon, I guess, had this song written in his suitcase for a long time before he recorded it. Uh, if you haven't watched the documentary on Gordon Lightfoot, I would check that out. The name is uh, escaping me at the moment, but check that out. And it's really inspiring about his life. He wrote songs. He wrote the sheet music for all his songs. So it's really cool. Um, the fact that he would write every note and every rhythm of the melody in standard sheet music notation. So that's really cool. I, whenever I write my tabs, out, I, I try to always have the sheet music above, just so, even if it's subconscious that you're sort of learning the language of music through the written language. All right, let's start with this. Now for the intro, first off, Gordon did play a 12 string, but most of us don't have 12 strings. I have one that's in need of some work. So uh, just do it on acoustic if you if you have it. And I go I went ahead and did a chord melody on this intro. So if you want to just skip that and keep it beginner, D, C, G, A sus, A. Basically the same progression as the chorus. But if you want to combine the melody of you know the intro with it, you would do this kind of D. It's like a D5. Go down, bass, and then release. And you have this index bar for a D. Okay, then C, the type with the pinky, down, bass, and then release the pinky, down, bass. So like that. G, the type of G with all four fingers, down, and you, you go to the first string, bass, down, and then go to the second string. And then an A sus4, but I did it with the pinky here in the fifth fret. I just tend to like that sound. You could also do it like this. Totally fine. Okay, there's the intro. For the verse, basically there's two patterns that are happening. at at the beginning, it's more down, bass, down, down, up. When I say bass, it's a down, but it's barely strumming the strings, you know. 
you'll notice that I'm really leaning on the third strum, and that's called the backbeat. Um, so one and two and a three and four and so really, if you listen to the recording, which I recommend doing, you'll notice that the third strum is the loudest. All right. So that's kind of something to keep in mind. That's going to uh, synchronize synchronize with the snare. So I would start with the down bass, down, down, up for each chord. Then as you go, th throw in a variation, which would be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, especially for the chorus. Carefree. Okay, so either of those two will work. That being said, let's go through the verse. D, we're going to start with down bass, down, down, up as our main pattern. A, oh, I lied, there's another bar chord, F sharp. Okay, that's called a secondary dominant there. That's the five of the six. So don't, don't worry if you don't know what I mean, but basically the sixth chord has its own five chord. Every chord has its own five chord. So that's called a secondary dominant. So really genius writing from Gordon. So D, A, F sharp, B minor. Now we go to A, so just release the bar and kind of go bass down up. We'll play through it all in a sec. Now G, D, now A sus4, now the second guitar comes in and goes dee 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 dee. You could just go bass, bass, down, down, up, bass, bass, down, down, up to keep it simple. Or you could sort of mimic the um, other guitar part which goes bass, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Bass, up, down, up, sorry. Bass, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. A little more active. But either way, it's A sus to A. All right, so there's a nice phrase. Let's play that together. Three, four. Good. Repeat everything. Everything the same. Da -da. This time we go to A sus4 right away. A to D. And that lands us on the chorus. Alright, so there's the verse. So that second time it just goes from G. A sus, A to D. We're in the chorus. Alright? Here's the chorus. I would do down, down, up, down, down, up for this. A little more active. The next chord, C over G. You can see Gordon when he played it live. He's doing it like this, C over G. A little more bassy of a C. You could do it like this if you want. Either way. G, A sus, A. All right? That's the main phrase. Three, four. Now we get into the uh, sort of the B section of the chorus. Really, really great writing. B minor. Morning at a, uh, to A. G. Here's the hard part. D over F sharp. Okay, so you're going from G to D over F sharp to E sus4 to E. So let's go over that again. So from B minor. Sorry. Uh, down, down, up, down, down, up. A. G. You just have time for a down, down, up. D over F sharp, two, O, oh, O, oh, two, three. So, down, down, up. Then E sus four. Put your pinky on that second fret, third string. So that's my pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, for instance. Then back to the main progression of the chorus. C over G. Us for a flip away on you. Then we have the 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 uh, hook, which is over the chorus progression, which I'll teach you in a sec. Twice. Back to a verse. All right. So that riff is just by itself. The single notes.
they have variations, and that's that's the way I'm playing it. Well, let me do it slower here. So it's all it's all basically major pentatonic or major blues even. So here's our D, third fret, second string, five to seven slide, fifth fret, first string, hammer to seventh fret, back to fifth fret. Then seven to five slide to three. Two to four hammer on third string, back to third fret, second string. Another slide up to fifth fret, first string. Um, kind of losing my place there. So let's do it from where we're at. So from the beginning. Yeah, then you go a trill here, or a, a slur, I should say. Five to seven, five, hammer up, pull off. Seventh fret, second string. Go all the way up to tenth fret, first string. Now you do a 12 to nine, pull off. 12th fret 2nd string and then a little nice little 10 to 9 to 7 slide 7 to 9 hammer 4th string back to 9th fret 3rd string 11 uh, sorry 9 to 11 slide 10 2nd string and then one more slur so a lot of notes in here I'm kind of going quickly because I really want this to be a strumming lesson but let's play through the entire riff if you need to pause it, rewind it, I understand, or of course the tabs on the Patreon. Here we go. Three, four. Verse, okay? I play it slightly differently time to time, but I will have it written out in a concrete way on the Patreon. Then you just have another verse, and, and we've learned the whole song. So. Kind of fun to really focus on the strumming. Down, bass, down, down, up, or down, down, up, down, down, up. And to really, you know, play the song from beginning to end. There's a verse and there's a chorus. The hook is over the chorus. And it's a classic sort of A, B song. Um, but really um, a beautiful song. I think very catchy, just like all of the songs. So go ahead, listen to him a bunch this month. And um, sort of soak in all the greatness that he provided us. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, hitting the bell icon and the thumbs up. Remember to check out the Patreon if you get a chance. And I hope you're doing well. See you next lesson. Bye.